True leadership lies in guiding others to success, in ensuring that everyone is performing at their best, doing the work they're pledged to do, and doing it well. This is one of Dr. Simon Harry's truest potentials. Dr. Harry was born in 1965, an indigene of Bassa local government area in Plateau State. He joined the Bureau in 1992 as a youthful and exuberant statistician too. He rose steadily through the ranks to become the director CPTC, Corporate Planning and Technical Coordination. Before this time, he played a vital role in reforming the MBS into the full-fledged agency that it is today. Finally, almost 30 years after joining the Bureau, Dr. Harry was inaugurated as the 10th Statistician General of the Federation and CEO of the National Bureau of Statistics on August 31st, 2021. Dr. Harry's notable experience, expertise, exemplary performance, amiable qualities, and compassion qualified him to attain the office he currently occupies. He has been universally heralded as a meticulous manager of men, materials, and resources. His attention to detail, excellent team spirit, and ability to mentor people have earned him a reputation as an exceptional leader in the Bureau. What I would like to say about Dr. S.B. Ari is that is a very intelligent person, very hardworking person, sociable, bold, and very compassionate. Is someone that uh, always uh, loves peace, work for peace, and looking for progress. Even before he became the SG, I've been privileged to, you know, work with him on one or two projects. So. I know he's a very thorough person. Dr. S.B. Harry is a visionary leader, a transformer, an achiever. His honesty and commitment are reflected in his leadership in the Bureau. Being at the helm of affairs, he takes the responsibility of developing and disseminating factual official data on the performance of key sectors very seriously. The staff of the Bureau can attest to his eagerness to double-check facts before reports are published. Even in his free time, Dr. Harry can be found dotting I's and crossing T's, leaving no stone unturned in ensuring that the work of the Bureau is infallible. Dr. Harry has spent his first 100 days in office as Statistician General of the National Bureau of Statistics, reforming and revitalizing the institution. Generally speaking, staff of the Bureau testify to increased motivation and a sense of urgency to achieve more. I remember when I started going home late, when I had things to do and then you're leaving the office by eight, nine, and then Dr. Harry is still in the office, still working, you know, it's, it sends some messages to you like, if this man can stay this late to still work, then you as a younger person, you need to put in more work. He has been very hardworking in every job that he's given and he has been doing his work perfectly well. There's no time you meet him for help and he will not offer the help. I can say that when we talk about the history of MBS, even before we joined the service, Dr. S.B. Ari is one that can tell you how the then Federal Office of Statistics was established and how the National Bureau of Statistics came into being. Just as he promised, Dr. Harry has adopted a three-pronged approach during his tenure as CEO. Firstly, he is actively involved in rejuvenating the Bureau's facilities, an infrastructural facelift that has changed the outlook of the organization. Some of the revamped facilities include the conveniences, the water fountain, partitioned office spaces, the conference hall, the car park, signposts and ceilings, to mention a few. There is now constant electricity distribution within the complex, 
CCTV cameras have been installed, which has consequently improved the general security. Returning visitors are impressed by the dramatic change over such a short period. It is no wonder that the two supervising ministers have visited the Bureau within the first 100 days of the current administration. For past 10 years or 15 years, the environment was so bad that people are beginning to doubt that uh, is this where the data is coming out from. Before now, when you come to this office, you will sorry for me. I say, could this be an office of a director in National Bureau of Statistics? I will share with you some of the pictures of this place before this renovation and transformation. So, and it's a great thing that um, God has given us a Dr. SBRA to be this transformer. Even the blind can see now. If you are here four or five months back and you are here now, there's nobody that will tell you before you know that Dr. Samuel Ari is working. Beforehand, everybody knows you come here by hardly you find light. The light is not always there. The electricity is not there. The lift was not working. The atmosphere was not conducive. If you go around now, you will see a very beautiful office. You will see a very comfortable office. And a lot more are in the kitchen. As far as uh, infrastructure is concerned, what of uh, power supply? In the past, <laughs> uh, some of us here bought uh, private uh, generators uh, to supply light to our offices. But since it came, I think it has abolished that. And, uh, uh, nobody is using his private generator and we're having a, a light 24 hours see i don't even feel like uh, going home now <laughs> but in the past if it is uh, 4 p.m i will take my vehicle and begin to go home because uh, because of light uh, issue so there will be a, a lot of changes since it came in this will be having constant lights the design must be taken care of. The generator work too far when there's no light, pick up between five minutes, is up. Making sure that the power is on when it should be on. Making sure the convenience, the restrooms are looking really, really nice now. Even our staircase, tower wall is looking very nice. He's someone that, looking at the partitioning of the office, all of this was from his head. Literally, he's the architect of, you know, what is happening right now. The lighting, the, it's just, it's mind-blowing. He's my talk and do SG. The toilet system have been totally revived. We can sit comfortably in our gents and ease ourselves and come back to work. Dr. Harry's approach is to renew the vigor of the staff, to which the renovation has contributed immensely as many staff testify to renewed encouragement as a result of better working environments. His second focus is staff welfare, and he is determined to leave no stone unturned in this area. As a born leader who has spent his time going through the ranks, he understands the plight of the people and has stopped at nothing to look after his staff. Plans are underway to reopen staff canteens and totally revamp the sick bay. The NYC core members are not left out as their allowance has been increased. On the issue of welfare, it's been wonderful too. You know, when you put up a file, your file is being approved to go for one training or the other. Those are some of the major things that we really needed and really he's doing it. I want to say he has... Uh, is the person that has a very a listening ear. He listens to people and tries to advise, to counsel, and to help in any way. You know, he's a kind-hearted person, as I know him. Um, unless he's not within his means, whatever you go to him 
to ask for. He will do his best to give you. If he has the means, he will deliver, he will give you. He will make sure you get it. This year, this year ending, we going to deal with some staff work matters, uh, particularly um, the area of, uh, like we used to have end of year party, those days when we were in Lagos. Um, then uh, a award to staff to motivate them. Then uh, kind of some welfare gifts to, to be, that, that will be made available to staff. Um, then the, if you go to a, a staff clinic now, it's not been as stocked, stocked as it is now. Finally, Dr. Harry is committed to ensuring that all staff of the Bureau are equipped and technical capacity is built across all levels of the MBS. 16 new departments have been created as opposed to the previous eight. This has provided new opportunities for technical growth and development of the staff of the Bureau. There is now more emphasis on encouraging in-house talent to execute complex tasks that were previously contracted to external consultants. For example, the MBS now produces its infographics internally. Before now, I never knew how to use infographics or how to produce reports or any kind of visualization. But when the SG came, the new the present SG came in, I was among the persons that were trained for infographics. So we were taught on how to use different tools to do visualizations. One of the tools is Flourish, another one is Canva. We also used picture charts and many others. So after the training, I was given a task to produce a report, the, the infographics report of Labor Force Survey Quarter 2. Under the report, we have the unemployment rates, underemployment rates, and the youth unemployment rates. So I did that one without supervision, after which I submitted and corrections were made and I infected the corrections. I believe by now that it's also hosted in MBS website. What is more impressive for me is his commitment to capacity building, to developing the capacity of um, the staff. Always interested in building the capacity of staff. He doesn't believe that you cannot do it. He always believed that give him a trial and let him prove himself and see that he cannot. He, we have conducted training for our various categories of staff um, on infographics, on statistical matters, just to improve the uh, capability of the staff. The rise of Dr. Harry through the ranks has brought a sense of hope to MBS. It is proof that with hard work and determination, the possibility of rising through the ranks to the very top is now an attainable goal. With the trajectory of excellence that has been set by the achievements realized in just 100 days, the Bureau is well on its way to becoming the top statistical agency in Africa. Still in the era of welfare, is for us to upgrade the sick bay of the organization, and so we are already procuring adequate uh, equipment for us to upgrade the sick bay so that uh, you don't have to move out of our premises for you to take care of your health. And so we are adding more medical personnel and they were providing enough drugs for the sick bay and as well as enough equipment that will help to improve the uh, health uh, being of our workforce. Also, this canteen has been upgraded so that uh, as an organization, uh, all that you need to do is to just walk into the canteen and take care of me and then go back to uh, your office to continue working. We're also upgrading the library of the uh, Bureau to uh, the status of an e-library. Uh, we just have to do so because M MBS is a modern organization and as such we have to operate in a modern way. Uh, again, also our ICT department is being upgraded and so we're working on uh, ensuring that all necessary equipment for us to be able to have a robust data bank uh, record uh, or all installed. And so all these arrangements are for us to ensure that 
the organization is operating in a modern way and that is why our web portal has been upgraded to, with a, so that we can make it uh, user friendly. Also, uh, we are working to ensure that uh, we have a disaster uh, uh, recovery center and that is a backup of the data center that we're having here. And so we're upgrading our Lagos uh, branch office where we're going to install all the necessary equipment for us to have a, a disaster recovery center. We're also consulting with the Central Bank of Nigeria for us to have an office there that we are, will, will warehouse our uh, disaster recovery uh, center. So these are all the uh, uh, arrangements uh, that are purposely meant to ensure that uh, we meet up with our mandate of producing statistics and uh, that takes me to the thought focus of my administration, which is that of uh, ensuring that uh, we are on top of our technical operations. And so uh, we are, uh, for us to be able to achieve that, what I did as an organization is to review the structure of the office. What I took over was an office with eight departments and five units. And then of these departments, we had six that were uh, operational department and then two service department. Now we have expanded the horizon so that we now have 11 technical departments and then five operational departments with a strong unit under the office of the Station General called Economic Intelligence Unit, that is M, at uh, working on data analysis and carrying out further analysis with a view to adding value to the statistics that are produced in the Burim. So all these are uh, deliberate uh, arrangements put in place to enable the Burim meet up with its target. And then again, we are repositioning the Burim in line with other uh, statistical uh, organizations within Africa and even beyond. And that is why beyond reforming the headquarters, we are equally reforming the zonal offices and as well as the state offices, both in the area of infrastructure, in the area of manpower, and in the area of technical operations. So all these formations are key, including also the other formations at the subnational level, such as the State Bureau of Statistics and the MDAs at that level. So once we have both the horizontal and vertical systems working simultaneously, then the Nigerian circle system will uh, be on top of its responsibility of producing reliable, robust, and timely statistics for informed decision-making process. And that, of course, is what will take and, uh, us to become uh, an organization that will serve as a leading organization within the African continent and uh, of course that will be able to compare or compete favorably with the best in the world. In the area of infrastructure, like I mentioned earlier, putting in place an enabling environment for us to be able to operate is a key priority and that is why we are giving the office a befitting first lift so that uh, anybody coming into this organization will uh, know that yes, we are into serious business. And so we are overhauling the office environment in the area of painting. We are overhauling all the toilets of the office. We are overhauling the entire uh, furniture of the organization. We are completely addressing it holistically to ensure that when officers come in into the organization, they will certainly feel comfortable working and they will not feel like going home. And that is why the issue of light has been fully taken care of. Our leaves are working continuously all through. And then also the central air conditioning have been restored. And so uh, all these are in an attempt to make sure that uh, we provide a comfortable working environment 
for the entire workforce of the National Bureau of Statistics.